Hello, hello. Welcome to the Creator's Lounge podcast. My goal is to create a short-term podcast that examines a specific field, such as music production or fashion. My hope is that you will hear something of value and apply that to your own life or your own art form, whatever it may be. This season, we are examining music production. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Creators Lounge podcast. Today, I have a very awesome guest with me. He goes by the name of Pitsu. He is from Finland, and he does lo-fi hip-hop. Pitsu, please introduce yourself, man. Where are you from? What do you do? Hello. Uh, I make chill beats in my bedroom. Nothing special. How long have you been doing music for, man? Uh, around seven years, I think. Kind of on and off. You have a lot of experience, then, in the game. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have I've met other people that have been doing music for like one year or two years. So compared to them, you have a lot. Yeah, sure. Um, I have to ask, what uh, DAW do you use? Uh, right now, I use Ableton Live Nine, but most of the time, I always use Logic Pro Nine. But I just recently switched to Ableton. What was the reason for the switch, man? Uh, it's just much more fun faster pace and it's refreshing to try something else also that's a good point that's a good point i think that a lot of us producers have to try every different um daw out there until we can find the one that works the best for us yeah absolutely okay so p2 um how did you get into music uh production in the first place i think i heard some really early trip up and just thought to myself i can do that too that's super cool but i couldn't and that's what grabbed my attention and I just wanted to learn more. How interesting. I love the confidence you had because you were immediately thinking like, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it was Im- immediately again. I can't. This is <laughs> impossible. <laughs> That's true. But on the flip side, uh, even though you thought like that, you stuck with it, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that's what really grabbed my attention when I realized how hard it actually is to make music. And that's when I really started liking. How interesting! But like a challenge. So is that is that for you the same in like other things as well? If you have a challenge, you enjoy doing it more. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome, man. A lot of people see the challenge and they kind of just like they back away from it, you know? Yeah, really. I don't know. I just kind of enjoy it. The harder it is, the more I can enjoy it. Really. Exactly. The harder the challenge, the greater the rewards. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I just like to torture myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a masochist, is that right? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I haven't heard that deep yet, but maybe I some someday we'll find that side of myself. Uh, you mentioned listening to early trip hop. Uh, what are some of the artists that really inspired you in particular? The really first one was DJ Crush, who was like a huge inspiration to me. And Kid Loco, Omega One stuff like that like really early like artists that were lo-fi but they didn't know that because it just was their sound <laughs> yeah. right so they're kind of like the forerunners of the genre yeah 90s trip hop that's kind of first lo-fi that's incredible that's incredible and then um how about nowadays like what are the artists that you see right now that are doing uh music that you enjoy i've been listening lots of like very violent heavy music lately it's so different for for what i do but like neuro and really heavy stuff like sound design wise it's really fun to listen some good sound design and like apache He's my absolute favorite producer right now. Super talented. And they're doing like um, heavy EDM music, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Because you said heavy. I wasn't sure if you meant like metal as well or rock and roll. Well, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's not quite dubstep, but it's right there with dubstep, I think. But definitely heavy bass music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. It's really fun to listen. It is, and I think it's really interesting because a lot of us producers, we listen to music that's not at all similar to what we create, but somehow it still gives us like inspiration uh, and keeps us interested in what we do. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, I do listen like chill hop, of course, too, but not that often. Uh, it's kind of like if you do it, it's so boring and repetitive. 
in, if that makes any sense. I think it's good to have a lot of inspirations because like um, you never know like what you're going to take from that that you can apply to your own art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lately I've been trying to learn lots of uh, sound design, etc. to kind of convert it to my genre, different kind of sounds that's fantastic no i get what you mean and uh i think that that's really important for you because um in lo-fi hip-hop generally a lot of it is sampling right there's not so much sound design that goes into it yeah yeah it, and it's really boring to listen <laughs> <laughs> well because you're using yeah you're using other samples so it's like we know this song already yeah 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 and it's just a loop usually it's just a fucking loop <laughs> yeah exactly yep do you think the genre is going to continue in that way or do you think it's going to grow and change like in the next five years well i really hope it's gonna change because there's so much potential and i i mean i love the genre of course the sounds the basic atmosphere in it that's what grabbed me into it that's kind of what made me want to do it but it's just in the end it's really boring genre right now i think so and it's not really fun to listen unless it's in the background just rolling quietly sure like white noise <laughs> 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 but no i agree it can be very uh, boring to listen to i would definitely like to see more innovation and more creativity in the genre um i feel like if genres stay the same for too long that's how they're gonna die right so whereas yeah, like yeah. with rap or hip-hop we've seen the genre change so much from the 1980s up until modern day you know and so hopefully the same way with lo-fi hip-hop or whatever it can grow and transform uh etc etc yeah, yeah absolutely guys we're gonna take a small break from the interview to listen to some piatto's incredible music here's a song he created called spring by the sea enjoy You started making music about seven years ago. How much music do you think you have made? I don't know, man. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Uh, easily over a hundred. Probably a thousand, man. I think it's more like a thousand, probably. Yeah, yeah around a thousand. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, not, of course, not thousand finished songs, but thousand projects. Right, not finished ones. Yeah, yeah. I usually don't finish if I don't like it. Gotcha. But I do still like work it through. But don't do that. Me uh, mastering and and stuff. I have lots of beats here. Dude. The technical stuff can really slow down a project. That's for sure. Speaking of which, um, how do you start making music? Like, how do you start making a song? Well, if I'm sampling, which is like I start with sampling. If I use samples in this, if I want to use samples, I start with samples, and if not, I just start with melody, like the background melody. That's where I start then i start building it from there gotcha so you just take a sample that inspires you and then kind of break that into the song yeah i start chopping the sample and like basically i start with a background melody that is gonna roll like entire song through gotcha uh-huh and just make it interesting <laughs> Sure, build it from there, yeah, right? Yeah. How long do you think it takes you to finish a song? Around a month. One month to finish a song? Yeah, around a month. Wow. 
dude, that's a very long time. Yeah, I really like to like make it. I I just work on a beat until I just can't hear it anymore. Like I'm so sick of listening it because I've been working on it so much. How interesting, man! How interesting. But your music is very quality, though. So I think that it. Uh, I think that that effort definitely shows. Yeah, I try to make it as good as possible. And then at some point, I just can't fucking listen to this beat anymore. The melody is so stuck in my head. I have to give up. <laughs> <laughs> How many songs do you work on at one time then, man? Is it like one song at a time or do you have multiple projects at one time? Yeah, I have multiple projects. Nowadays, it's that's really helping me also with that uh, sick, sick of one beat thing. I have now many projects going on. But usually I just did one beat at the time, which is bad habit, I think. But yeah, when I start making something, it's really hard to not do it in the end for me. So you get very focused on projects then? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I was gonna ask, uh, it sounds very stressful to work on one song for an entire month. Like what's the ways that you de-stress? Like what's a, what's a stress reliever for you? I don't know, sometimes you just have to take a break of that beat. <laughs> Just be a weekend without touching it, and that usually can help a lot. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Just give it some room and then stuff works out. Yeah, play some games and chill out, hang with friends. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What kind of games are you playing these days? Uh, uh, I play a lot. Like, I play indie games a lot. I don't really play any big games. So no Fortnite? <laughs> no, no, I'm... Right now I'm playing Dead Cells, which is super cool indie. Sounds quite interesting, yeah. So um, beyond music, actually, are you into any other kind of art creation or do you only do music? Uh, I draw a lot. I really enjoy drawing. I just recently bought a Photoshop too, so maybe I try learning that a bit. And I guess you could use that as like your album covers as well if you wanted to. Yeah, maybe someday. I'm not really confident with my drawings, but I've been drawing more than making music in my life. I started drawing like a little boy, baby boy. I like that. Well, like you said, you enjoy a challenge, so. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. So another thing I'm curious about, we talked a little bit about um, trip hop artists and such like that. What were other um, artists that inspired you? Not just to create music, but just artists that inspired you as a person. Like right now or overall? Of all time, all time, man. I really enjoy classical music and compositions. Wait, that's not a fucking word. How, how do you say com... It is, that's right, compositions, Wait, it's correct, uh, man. You're right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool, okay, let's yeah. roll with that. But yeah, jazz a lot. Uh, and of course, like the early trip hop. Like I, I basically listen to everything that just fucking comes to my way. I love music, so I love that you're just very open uh, to new new influences and new styles. I think that's incredible. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Uh, throw me a few classical musicians that you enjoy listening to. Uh, Mozart is my favorite, like big time. That's awesome. Well, lately, Christopher Larkin, who is uh, actually makes soundtracks for games, he's super talented and makes such a good classical tunes for the games. That's super cool. So he does classical music, but they use it for video games. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not like uh, I think he produces it, but he uses only classical instruments, which is super. He makes it so good with products and it's amazing what kind of quality you can make with computer. No, for sure. I agree with that. Um, I think it's really cool what we can do with music in this era. We can make music for video games. We can make music for commercials, um, et cetera, et cetera. What is, what is something you would want to do with your music? Like, what's the vision for your sound? Well, I've been thinking lately that it would be super cool to make a soundtrack for a game, maybe someday. The reason for my music, I don't like really have any. I just want to try to be better, I guess. <laughs> but maybe it would be really cool to make a soundtrack for some cool indie game or something. I think that's an incredible idea. 
Do you think you would do it as lo-fi or possibly something else? Well, that depends about the game. Of course, of course, that's a good point. Definitely hope that can work out for you, man. Uh, if I get any, if I meet any like game developers, I'm gonna toss them your way. <laughs> yeah, sure, thanks. <laughs> I think that'd be really cool. I'm not ready. I don't think I'm ready. Dude, yet, nobody is ready, okay? Nobody's ready, you just do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I need, like, I will be ready soon, but like lately I've been, uh, I mean, I've been learning lots of music production and sound design lately, but I still need to pick up with uh, uh, music theory. That's something I need. Then I'm ready. Right. I got it, man. But I think that that stuff you can learn like as you go forward, right? Yeah, I have some kind of ear for music, but I... Exactly. You've been doing it for seven years. Of course you have an ear for it. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's about confidence. I, I think it's about confidence a lot as well. That's something I don't have. So <laughs> I don't I doubt. I think that's a lie. <laughs> yeah, sure. Come on, dude. You you literally said, I like how this sounds. I'm going to make this genre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's straight up confidence. Well, that was just a stop it young kid, dude. <laughs> fake it till you make it, my man. Fake it till you make it. Okay, I try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, another music break. I hope you're enjoying the podcast. This next song is called Night Harbor, one of Piatu's earlier works, but still gold. Do you think that you'll be doing music long term, like for the rest of your life, or do you think it's something you're gonna kind of give up at some point? Yeah, I've been making music. I don't think I'll ever quit music, especially if I start learning more instruments, etc. It's just I, there is no quitting point. I think in music, you can always learn more and stuff like that. I don't think I get bored of the music. Maybe about time consuming at some point, you need to relax a bit with it, but don't need to quit. I love that. I love that because I think that you're creating because you want to create. And I think that's what gives you like the energy to keep doing it. Whereas, you know, if someone's doing it for the money or for the fame, like, uh, you know, they wouldn't be as passionate about it like you are. Okay, I'm just chilling here, making beats. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're in the basement making yeah, beats. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you're a grandfather. <laughs> hey, boy, I'm here. Exactly, right, 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 right. But that's cool, though, right? Like, that's a, that's a certain kind of cool right there. Yeah, sure. Well, you know, like, like, is your grandfather making beats in the in the in the basement? Yeah, he's locked. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> in the basement. Maybe. I think that's the aim for guys like us, right, man? Like for you and me, like we're cool as kids, but whenever we get older, what are we gonna do? <laughs> yeah, well, I imagine imagining myself just fucking jamming with piano when I'm a grandpa. So 
some cool jazz tunes just to fucking that'd be that <laughs> i like it i like it do some street performances or something yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> um i was gonna ask as well um what part of the music process gives you the most trouble do you have the most difficulty with uh, probably mixing and mastering that's something i need to learn more about. right but yeah you can be stuck on everything i think in music for sure maybe. it's a process right man it's about the process yeah, yeah. live yeah. and learn yeah it's just figure it out and in terms of uh, of music like what are you looking to do um next so are, are you working on an album working on some singles or just uh perfecting the sound mm, i'm kind of making these little beat tapes where meanwhile i make my sound better i'm making an album right now trying to make it that's fantastic dude i'm looking forward to that i want to hear it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it was really good and like four tunes of mine got corrupted and are just fucking gone forever right now that is the absolute worst man yeah dude i was just panicking <laughs> one week they leave my house it was fucking worst but now i'm making better tracks so it's okay that's a great attitude to have yeah i was gonna ask like how do you deal with that like how do you respond to that kind of situation like what's your advice for how to handle it the right way <laughs> no i just didn't leave my bed for a week got it depression sets in <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was like peak happening. exactly dude turn up that the heavy bass music and just lay in your bed <laughs> yeah, sure. well I, I know that everybody struggles with that like all artists come to a point when their art gets destroyed somehow and so it's something that everybody has to go through i'm, I'm afraid <laughs> yeah it's all right you get the words it what's what's shocking to me is that we have so much technology and yet somehow we still lose our files and stuff you know <laughs> yeah it shouldn't be happening i, I don't really <laughs> get it i don't know what the fuck happened but I, I swear man like uh, i think like the the music demons are out there eating our song files or something <laughs> yeah, <probably. laughs> we'll go into some like random questions just about like your life or whatever um what does your morning routine look like? Do you have like a specific morning routine or something to help you get in the mood to create music? No, not really. All right. How do you feel about social media? Uh, I should make some. I kind of need something for a player to like some kind of social media. I, but I'm not a fan of social media. What's the reason for that? Like, I'm just really bad at sharing like social things in my life but social media like it is so important for us uh, musicians right like to put all music out there you know yeah it is yeah i really need to work on that no i i mean i understand completely because i think that so many of us musicians and artists in general we have like social anxiety or we struggle with like stuttering or whatever it may be and yet we have to use social media to promote our music you know and to do what we love so i'm like the worst of sharing my songs it's so hard for me uh last year i think last year yeah i had like 100 followers for fucking so long and then i just one day fuck it i'm gonna share my songs and finally got some listeners here feels really good <laughs> but it's so it's so hard to share your things. Why is it so hard for you to, to share your music or to put your music online? No, it's easy to put it online, but like, you know, marketing your own music, sharing it somewhere where people can actually find it. And like talking good about your music, guys. Hey, you should listen to my tracks and that kind of thing. So kind of like the, like the business side, right? The business side. Yeah, that's where I'm sucking gotcha gotcha well but and and i think that it's it's unfortunate because again like art and business are kind of like combined these days right mm, absolutely and that's what makes it difficult be because so many of us are artists but we're not business people or you have someone who's a business person but not an artist you know so yeah being able to combine those is so important Just need to learn some of that too although i have to say man you're doing good already because like um that was how i found your music i found your music through one of the lo-fi channels on youtube i think it was dreamy or the bootleg boy i'm not sure 
but um, I, he used one of your songs in your mix, and that's how I found you. Yeah, that's exactly what you have to do. You just have to send your music for free to them. That's how it works. Gotcha. And is that what you did? You sent your music to them? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And they accepted it and then put it in the mix. That's fantastic. And I think it worked because, I mean, like, I think that's how you gain fans, right? So Yeah, that's kind of what you have to do nowadays. Small success, man, but it's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> just keep it up, my man. Keep it up. <laughs> I'm trying. Dude. All right. And then we'll wrap it up by just doing some quick questions. Uh, answer as fast as you can. Here we go. All right. What is your favorite food? It's like deer. Deer things. Deer stew. Yeah, that's good. What is your favorite weekend activity? Uh, uh, making music, I guess. What is your favorite color? Uh dark blue what countries do you want to visit mm, japan uh anywhere else uh that's it for that's now it. <laughs> <laughs> yep that's <laughs> that's fine i, I want to waste everywhere dude so right it. i gotcha what languages do you speak i speak finland very bad sweden and quite bad english <laughs> all right man that's about it for the questions uh dude thank you so much for coming on today oh no problem dude was fun is there anything else you want to finish like like give advice to the audience or something you want to say to the listeners yes yeah, sorry about my english <laughs> nothing else nothing really <clears throat> gotta listen to my music dude there we go i like that i like that guys you gotta listen to his music i, I promise you it's seriously good I'll, I'll put some links uh so you guys can find it more easily and pizza all the best my man thank you dude. same to you uh congratulations on the podcast bro. oh dude thank you so much yeah i'm having a blast with it so uh, let's hope it goes well all right guys and we will talk to you later thanks for listening bye Thank you.